Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy. I take it. Oh, I got here with the uh, I would say mini review, full review of the Nexus 5X. I mean, it's really not too much else to talk about. I already talked about um, what you should like in the video. I mean, what you should like in the uh, phone, what you shouldn't like in the phone. Um, the fact that this phone is on Project 5 for $200. I mean, that that says it right there. I mean, any device out there that has USB-C fingerprint scanner, a, a, a decent good quality camera and video and 4K and a decent screen size and it feels good in the hand. Um, uh, shouts to the Lego stand, but <laughs> and it feels great in the hand. Uh, super light and man, I don't understand. I still don't get why people want premium looking phones and plastic does the job. I mean, think about it. You drop a glass phone. That shit gonna break. <laughs> you drop this, it, it it might you might see cracks. It ain't gonna break unless you know you hit it flat, boom, pow. You know, but check this out, people. All right, I'm on Project Five, no doubt. Um, since I'm an early develop, um, not developer, but since I'm an early uh, user, you know, I got this this power brick. Okay, I got these nice. Nice headphones. I still got mine. I know a couple people in the Project 5 community say they broke theirs. Decent headphones. I still rock them every now and then. Um, of course, majority of the people in December and November got this uh, phone stand. So, I mean, that's, that's privileges. And, like I said, I got Nexus 6, so I got the Project 5 case for the Nexus 6. It's a little rubbish, a little beat down, but it still holds up. So, I mean, there's advantages of having a Nexus device uh, with Project Fi and Google. Uh, one big major thing, you get updates, okay? You get the security updates. You get the security updates. You get uh, the, the Android system updates right on time. Um, that's a lot of different features that only comes with the Nexus devices versus Galaxies and LGs and all that type of stuff. So, right now... You see, I'm on uh, 6.0.1, and I got the um, Android security patch level uh, update from April the second. And I think what really is important with the Nexus um, users and devices, majority of them come with different build numbers. So sometimes the benchmarks might be a little off, or might might not be as the best, depending on. I think it depends on the kernels and benchmarks. So if you're a geeky person, you gotta have the Nexus device because. Unfortunately, Samsung don't like to update their stuff right away, and then you have to wait on the carriers to update the system. So, why not go with the Nexus devices? I'm telling you, there is nothing wrong with the 5X. Like I said in other videos, um, I play sound, I play music on this almost every day. I really don't have any issues. I mean, yeah, I could do a, I could do an on-screen uh, video compressor with the Nexus 6 speakers versus the 5X, but this is higher uh, new technology. And the camera is way better on the 5X than the Nexus 6. So, I mean, there's, there's a um, you know, few advantages and disadvantages. Of course, this is just 1080p and my Nexus 6 is uh, 2K or 1440p. But a lot of people don't, you know, don't even care about the resolution. And this got fingerprint scanner and that one don't. This has USB and my Nexus 6 has the, uh, uh, the wireless charging and a uh, quick charge 2.0. So... Uh, back to at hand, people. There's nothing wrong with the 5X. Thanks to the security patches, thanks to Android operating system updates, your 5X should run perfectly as long as you don't do nothing dumb and stupid to make it mess up. And not only that, if you're on Project 5, you got T-Mobile and Sprint. You got two carriers on one SIM card, and you got Wi-Fi Assist, which allows you to connect to open Wi-Fi's that's in your area. So you could be just driving through and you feel like you're looking at your phone like, oh, I lost signal, I lost signal. But what do you know? You buy a hotel, boom, instantly connect. Or you buy, I don't know, Applebee's or Starbucks or, you know, a place that has open Wi-Fi. You can connect to them. Taco Bell, McDonald's, whoever. You can connect to them. So you won't have no issues of being connected. Now, if you're in an area 
and it's just a dead road and nothing around. Yeah, you might be a little screw. And that's with any carrier. That's with any connectivity problem, any area that doesn't have that full functionality. But this is the reason why people don't understand why Google made Project Fi strictly for Nexus devices. It's because of the fact that the technology in these bad boys right here, the antennas will allow you to switch from one carrier to the next. Can't say that about the iPhones. I don't know what technology Apple's using in the iPhones. And I'm surprised Apple hasn't even jumped onto this um, like Google did. But that's why it won't work with an iPhone the way it works with a Nexus or a Galaxy the way it works with a Nexus. And I know a lot of you are like, well, it could work, it could work, it should, you should be able to switch, it's unlocked, la 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 la. Like I said, do your research. That's all I'm gonna say, do your research. Once again, I really have any issues Look at that quickness. Look at that quickness of that fingerprint. And stop talking about, man, I don't like the fingerprint on the back. Think about it. When you put this phone in your pocket, how do you put it in your pocket? Boom. Face down like that in your pocket. How do you pull it out? Boom. Your index is right there. You pull it out. Bam. You open, baby. So no complaints. No complaining and whining about the fingerprint on the back. If HTC makes the ne new Nexus, it's going to be on the back. Trust me, Google's not going to let them put that on the front. So if the HTC Nexus is going to have the fingerprint on the back. So the, don't quit all that crying and whining about, I don't like the fingerprint on the back, blah, 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 blah. Get an iPhone. Point blank. But uh, I, I, I'm just being strictly real. I'm just being strictly honest with you people, man. Like, there's nothing wrong with the Nexus devices. Um... They got better. They got better options now. You have you have six inch Nexus and a five inch Nexus. You really can't beat that now. I mean, it's to a point where you don't even need a Nexus Seven. You know, like this is this can be my tablet and this could be my main phone. So I really don't need any more devices unless I, you know I want to get another computer or laptop or something. And then that's a different story. But uh, yeah, okay, let me do a real quick comparison, real quick. Okay, this is the Nexus 6. I don't know why people hated this phone. Okay, I really don't. They're both updated, they both got the security patches. I mean, they both are flawless. I mean, these are the best devices out. I'm not nothing against the 6P, but man, just this the screen on the Nexus 6 is wider than the 6P. And, I mean, if you want a slimmer build down, get the Nexus 5X. Point, and then they're pretty much the same price now. So, you could probably get this on eBay or Amazon for like maybe, I don't know, 250 to 300 And you can get this with Project 5 for 200 You can't beat that, people. Point blank, man. Like, let's go. Let's stop playing games. And um, Google's making the best devices right now. Google, the, I, well, I wouldn't say just Google. Of course, they got LG. Give props to LG for the Nexus 5X and the Nexus 5 because without these two devices, I don't know where where the small Nexus will be. But right now, Google is 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 doing it all to, 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 to the fact that it's a lot of you Galaxy, it's a lot of you Galaxy Knights gonna go switch because of the fact, like I said, it's unlocked. You don't have to stick with a carrier. So if you don't even like Project 5, you can switch to T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon, AT&T without even Cutting the contract or I got to spend $250 just to get off the contract so I get to another carry. Just get you on Unlock Nexus. You ain't got to worry about that. The price is right, people. And this is the best review out because I, I, I put it down to, to the point where you can understand how, how these devices work versus other devices. And I forgot to mention Android beta program. What is the Android beta program? Let's say you want to sign up to this program and you want to try the next operating system before it even releases, which is right now. Android N is out now. All you have to do is sign up, put it on your next device, install it, give it a try, and you can uninstall it when you don't like it or if you don't want to use it as your daily driver. So, I mean, it's a lot of advantages Google's giving you with the Nexus versus any other Android device out there. And of course, since it's you know open open source, I mean you can do whatever you want to with it. So why not? Why take it out the box and and, and mess with it? Like I have, you know, I have my different widgets and things like that. And, and um, the weather, the weather app. So um, this is a new uh, thing Google has. Um, how I got it was basically I said 
you know, I talked to the Google and then asked what the weather was and this popped up and then that's a new one. Not only that, I found out you really don't have to um, download any Wi-Fi apps. Just get the My Apps, Google, Google My Apps, and you could track all your Wi-Fi hotspots using this application. And it will give you a map of where that Wi-Fi is. So and that the Nexus device, Google itself is just doing everything for you. It, it's really no need for the rest of them um, now. So yeah, I, I just gave you a real review of the Nexus 5X. It's 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 it's, it's hot, it's tight. Once again, two hundred dollars for USB C fingerprint. You got front facing speaker. You got a like, good decent camera on here. A um, good decent screen. Um, latest updates on Android, and it's unlocked. Come on now, come on now, and it's unlocked. Man, y'all tripping. Also, one more thing. Google just announced last week there is going to be a a, a store. You can customize your own cases for your phones, and they will work uh, with a live wallpaper. And you also have an NFC chip. Uh, button, an NFC button on the back of the case where you could give it a special command where you could get a special command for it to do something so um, like open up a specific app and there, there you have it I mean well, once I get my case in I do a Google collection video or what's on my Android I do all that next week but this week we, we talk about the Nexus 5X why you should get it I mean, the only reason you wouldn't get it because it's not a Galaxy, it's not an LG G5, it's not a HTC 10. That's the only reason you wouldn't get it. But for two hundred dollars, Project Fi, all these accessories you get free. You can't beat it, people. All right, it's your boy. I take you out, guy. Giving you real wrong, uncut review. Shout out to them haters. Shout out to them trolls. It's going down.